Hi everyone, welcome again to another video clip all about Remembrance Sunday and we're going through some of the words and phrases that we didn't know. Okay, so here we are. When I was a little boy in the 1980s, there were still people around to remember the First World War, known as World War I, and Remembering Sunday seemed much more important than it is today. Okay, uh, World War I still encroaches on, encroaches. Now, this is a very interesting word, and it comes from the verb, uh, to encroach, to encroach. Now, look at the spelling there, because it is a little bit more unusual uh, to encroach upon. And you also can see there, it has an on after the main word. So it basically means to intrude on or to interfere with. Okay, it's usually used with the preposition on. Okay. So, uh, you are encroached on by something, okay, in the passive voice. World War I still encroaches on our lives today, or our lives were encroached upon or on by World War I. Now, remember, on is just a shortened version of upon. So, to say World War I still encroaches upon our lives is the same as saying World War I still encroaches on our lives, okay? Interferes with is the best meaning. World War I still interferes with our lives or encroaches on our lives. Really useful word, very polite way of talking about how something is messing with your head. If you work for a company here, you may be asked on certain days to observe a two-minute silence to remember the war dead on anniversaries of World War I. And then I've used an idiom here, if I had a penny for every time I have been asked. Yeah, so we say that as a way to say that it's something that happens a lot. So if I had a penny for every time a student said, I don't understand, I would be a very rich man. Yes. So it's just a way of saying uh, how often you are asked or expected to do something. If I had a penny for every time I had been asked, and then the last part is, I would be a very rich man by now. You can use it with anything, yeah. If I had a penny for... Every time I had to say thank you on the phone, if I had a penny for uh, every time I didn't understand anything in English, I would be a very rich man or woman by now, of course. Yes, there we are. Very nice thing to say. We'll just do one more little bit. I stopped commemorating Remembrance Sunday some years ago. I really disliked the two-minute silence part at 11 a.m. when we're told we have to shut up. Yeah, to shut up is to be quiet. Yeah, so if your boss says, would you shut up? Yeah, it just means, would you be quiet? To shut up is a way of saying be quiet. So if you're up with your friends and you tell a joke, your friend might say, oh, shut up. It means, oh, be quiet. I don't believe you. Uh, otherwise, a mother talking to her child, she might actually say, look, would you just shut up? <laughs> Stop crying. Shut up. There we are. Uh, and I've just said here um, that the two-minute silence may have worked some years ago, but these days trying to get anyone to focus on something for two minutes is not likely to happen. Uh, I find the whole thing rather fake. Billions are spent on having ceremonies remembering the glorious dead from the old British Empire. Why not just look at stopping war? Would that not be a better idea? Or forget about the ceremony and give the money to a charity instead. Right, that's it from me. So there we are. Today's moment, I think, is probably with encroaches. That's a really good one. 
All right, so to encroach upon. There we are. Right. So let's catch up again soon. And I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.